Hello everybody and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Morgana here and today I'm excited to share this frosty windswept moorland painting with you all, painted using watercolour. I'm beginning with a blank sheet of watercolour paper. This is cold press texture, size 28 by 38 centimetres and I'm using clean water to begin with to saturate only the top half of the paper. To paint today I'm using the card swipe technique, using an old store card that I no longer use to carry paint across the paper. I've squeezed out three colours of tube paint here today, I'm using indigo, raw sienna and perylene green. Beginning at the point where my water comes down to on the paper, I'm dragging the card across to create our landscape, holding the card at a shallow angle to the paper to allow all of the colours to come through. I'll be adding water using my spray bottle today, which is why I only saturated part of the paper earlier. A quick spray helps to get that thick paint moving and helps to start creating some interesting and unique shapes and textures. To add a simple sky, I'm taking a little of the leftover paint from my card and using my 2 inch flat brush to simply sweep it across the top of the paper. This just helps to maintain some colour harmony in the painting. I'm also using the same technique of picking up leftover paint from the card to add colour to the foreground as well. Picking up your board and tipping it and tilting it and allowing the water to find its own path is a fantastic way of creating these loose, natural looking shapes. Now I'm going to add a little salt into the lower part of this painting to create the wonderful frosty bloom effect. Mm. 
after leaving the painting overnight to dry flat. This is how it looked the following morning. I just love how it turned out with the softness in these areas where the paint and the water all ran together and blended, along with some of the dry brush marks and the harder lines left behind by the card swipe. I think it only needs a few small details to finish it off, basically to enhance what's already there. So I'm beginning by turning this wonderfully directional bloom of colour here into a windswept hawthorn tree inspired by this, one of my own photographs taken last year. I'm also adding some thin tangles of roots coming down the hill and into this pale frosted area, still using my sword liner brush to paint, but any fine paintbrush such as a liner brush or a rigger would work really well for this thing too. Adding delicate little dabs of a deeper colour using a texture brush can help build up extra layers in some areas too.
I'm also adding some simple stalks to this patch of salt blooms using a mixture of watered down perillion green and raw sienna, turning them into delightfully frosty flowers. The finishing touch for this painting is a small flight of birds, painted using the remains of the muddy mixture of paint left on my palette. And that's it, the painting is finished. Thank you everybody for watching, I do hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hop over to my Patreon page following the link below to sign up for more videos like this one if you enjoyed it. But for now, I wish you all a wonderful rest of the week and very happy painting.